Hey everyone, it's Alyssa here with Darn Good Yarn and today we're going to learn how to do the cauldron weaving tutorial. What's going to come in your cauldron weaving kit is your loom. In fact, there are two of them. They are shaped like witches' cauldrons we love, along with a couple different crystals that we are going to weave into our work. I am using Lace Weight Silk Yarn Witching Hour for my warp and the start of my weft as well. You will need a long strand of your Lace Weight Silk Yarn. I have doubled mine over just to make it easier to have this amount of yarn on my needle at one time. Apart from the doubled over section, there is about three feet of extra yarn at the end of my needle. The first thing that I'm going to do is hold my two looms together and come back to front through the top center, bringing my needle and yarn all the way through. Oh shoot, that's not fine. Here we go. All the way through until we get to the section where I have doubled over that yarn. I will leave about, I would say that is two feet of extra yarn tail behind my loom. And then I will take my needle and I will count 10 holes and stick it from front to back through both of the looms right here at the bottom, pulling the yarn through and taut. From here, <laughs> what we're going to do is bring our needle from back to front, all the way back up to the top, and pull it through. What we are doing is creating a warp on both the front and back of the loom. You're going to want to make sure you're holding this tension in that yarn, and then we're going to go from front to back in the same either clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Okay, so I'm almost all the way done with my warp here and stop cursing in my video cut it out fix it in post <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i brought my needle through the starting loop again so i ended up right back in the front the front of the loom work from this point i'm going to bring my needle through one of the warps from bottom to top and stick it right through, bring it right through. Beautiful. Now I'm going to start weaving in a very simple over under pattern. So I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, and pull it through, pull it taut. I left off on an under, so then I'm gonna go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Bring it right through. And continue around the circle a few times. Now what I'm going to do is I've removed my tapestry needle from the front and flipped my work over. So I'm working on the back warp now. That's where this extra thread comes in handy. Super. All right, so you can see, oh, it looks great. I know how to do this so well. <laughs> anyway, so you can see by scooping under the warp here, I have made the zenith. What do you call that when they all converge? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Now we're gonna take our yarn and we are going to do a similar over under pattern. Am I going in the same direction? No, I'm not. Does it make a difference? No, it doesn't as long as you're consistent. <laughs> All 
All right, so now that we've got a little section started on both the front and the back, I'm going to attach my needle to the longest thread. For me, that was to the front. And then I'm going to start sticking some of the crystals into the weaving piece between the warp and the weft threads. So now we're going to be treating both of our warps as if they were one. So from here, what I'm going to do to lock this crystal in place is to start by putting my needle down through all the way front to back in this location. Boop. Next, I am going to come up from back to front through the next set of warp threads. And pull taut and not get the back thread all mixed up in there. That's tricky though. Now I have one of the stones locked into my cauldron. I'm going to now get the other stone all settled. Now that I have got the purple stone, the amethyst all in there, I can start doing the same thing about going through all the way through from front to, from, yeah, front to back to lock this stone in place. Okay, so now I have both stones secured into the weaving. Very exciting. Now I'm again going to be working with my longest piece of thread. And because of the way I set up my stones, I think what I'm going to do is instead of continuing to weave all the way around, I'm going to weave this section and then I will go back and I will weave this section. Okay. So we'll start here. I'm again going to be treating the warps as one now, going back and forth over under, And now that I've made it from bottom to top, I'm gonna to come back around from top to bottom. Yes, if you unstring your needle, all is well. Just gotta put it back.
So you're just going to continue weaving in the same kind of pattern until all of the space is taken up. From there, you have a wonderful loom and weaving that you can hang in your house. Um, it's super fun Halloween decor. Thank you for joining along with our Cauldron Loom Kit tutorial. If you are super excited about this project, make sure to get yours exclusively in the Witch's Brew Editor's Box at darngoodyarn.com. Thanks! Bye! <laughs>